months ago, I presented to you all the terrifying case of Mario Lara's store. What he believed would be a new start for his business would turn out to be one of the most disturbing experiences of his life. Now, Mario is constantly dealing with unexplainable situations that occur within the store. These unexplainable situations have one name, and its name is Moana. Ever since the store opened, odd things have occurred with the piñata. After a while, the activity started to shift towards the store as a whole, and not just the piñatas. Making it clear that whatever is messing with the store is more than just a single piñata. In case you don't remember, let me refresh your memory. The entity you see has been named Travis by Mario himself. Some speculate that Travis has some sort of connection to Moana, and that is why it was angry when Mario brought in the replica. Mario ordered the replica since he had trusted the shaman to take the original to analyze what could be causing all the activity in the shop. Things got weird when the shaman blocked Mario out completely and never got back into contact with him. It was not until the shaman got into contact one last time to give Mario the coordinates of where he had left the piñata. For the shaman to abandon the piñata in the middle of nowhere, he had to discover something truly sinister. Mario wasted no time and made his way to the location probably at the worst time possible. At night, when the darkness overshadows the sun. As we had already seen in the previous videos, Mario made it and collected the piñata. Seemingly everything was going well until he was on his way back home. He was driving at a normal speed when, out of nowhere, a scream could be heard, to which he began to speed up and ended up crashing. Last thing we saw, he was running away when all of a sudden, the life ended. He ended up explaining that he did not hear the scream. He said what caused him to drive off was the sensation of something breathing on him from behind. What we didn't realize was that there was indeed something in the back seat. Things for a while had calmed down with the return of the piñata. It was so calm in the store that it was like the entities never even existed in the store. That was short-lived as the peacefulness of the store came to a short end. Noises can be heard in the restroom right now. I'll pass by. Hey, banda, les voy a mandar este video porque estoy dándome cuenta que. Ay, joder. Hijo de la chingada. ¿Ya vieron? Ay, a ver si quedó grabado eso. Ay, hijo de ¿Vieron cómo se aventó la puerta? Esas son las cosas que pasan aquí a veces. 
ahí está la Moana ahí está la Moana y es lo que les digo, se avientan las cosas ah, pero no está, no está tirada ni nada hijo de su madre, trae una piel chinita eh. no, pues no está cabrón, esperaba que esperaba que me hicieran, hubieran hecho una broma no, anda, pues vámonos mejor A clear indicator that this is far from over. The entity is making itself known, so here come the sleepless nights and the constant alerts at night from the security cameras. The entity is back, and it seems to be taking things at a slow pace once again before it blesses us with its apparition. It's no secret that dogs have the ability to sense when there is something out of the normal present in the room. This is not so different for cats. Have I told you guys that my cat fights and growls at invisible things in the store? A while ago, I was able to record it. Does anyone know why this could be? Not so long after, things took a distinct turn of events that we have never witnessed before. A TV is a common household item that a majority of people have. TVs are a form of entertainment. But what happens when a TV turns into a form of communication between the living and the dead? Since all this started with my store, I have a mental chip in my head that tells me to record everything that occurs. At times, I try to anticipate the things when I start to suspect something is wrong or when I see common activity that repeats itself. For example, what I show in this video, it is the second day consecutive that the TV turns on and today I have the opportunity to take the camera up close. This just occurred 10 minutes ago. Mario does exactly what he stated. He took the camera up close to the TV to record anything that seemed out of the normal. The TV turned on and at first glance, it is only static that is visible. But when you alter the video's colors, you could get a closer look at the inside. It almost seems like there is someone inside the TV trying to communicate with us. If you thought that was concerning, you won't even imagine the terrifying message Mario received through the radio. Mario was driving somewhere when, out of nowhere, he began to notice strange distortions on his radio's audio. At first, they seemed just that, simple distortions, but when listening more carefully, a sinister message could be heard.
Days passed since the incident. Mario didn't seem to be worried about the horrifying message that was for him. I don't even think he realized what it said. That wasn't the last of strange messages. This time, the message came from the TV. What's that? Are you there? Do you want to say something? Are you there? Son of a bitch. ¿Qué quieres? ¿Qué? ¿Qué quieres? ¿Qué qué? Ya vete a la ver. ¿Qué quieres pues? ¿Qué? The entity was trying to send a message, but couldn't be understood by Mario due to the static that was persistent in the audio. Mario clearly got tired and, for that reason, disconnected the TV. But the entity was not done talking, causing the TV to turn back on although it was no longer connected to the power outlet. <laughs> The entity didn't seem to like being cut off like that. It clearly wants to give Mario a message. A message Mario seems to want to ignore. The entity is angry and wants to harm Mario clearly as we heard in the first message that was left on the radio. Will the entity continue to send messages? Or will it simply act now since the message was already delivered? This is now beyond just a simple haunted piñata. This is a serious problem that has gone beyond just the store. The entity seems to be present at all times, even when he is far from the store. Will Mario make it out of all this alive? There is no clear answer as of right now. Don't forget to leave a like if you are ready to find out what happens next. Make sure to subscribe as well with post notifications so you are notified when I update your favorite stories. I guess I will see you guys in the next video.